Hey guys, Gwen here from St. Louis County Parks, and today we have a special treat for you. I'll be walking you through the Nims Mansion at Bee Tree Park. But before we go inside, I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of the house. The Nims Mansion, or Bee Tree Mansion, was built in 1929 for Eugene Nims and his wife Latawana. The property, which they named Bee Tree Farm, was to be their country estate and weekend retreat built in addition to their home on Portland Place in St. Louis City. Eugene Nims was a successful businessman. Most notably, he was the founder of Southwestern Bell Telephone Company. He was also a noted philanthropist, dedicating much of his time to the Boy Scouts of America. After their marriage in 1914, Latawana became an icon for the latest fashion trends among the wealthy and was often pictured and mentioned within newspapers. The design for the Nims Mansion was created in 1928 by the Merritts and Young Architectural Firm. The Merritts and Young Architectural Firm was established in 1920 by Raymond Merritts and fellow architect William Ridgely Young. This architectural firm was recognized in its day as the leading designer in St. Louis of period revival houses. They attracted clients from all the wealthy social circles in the city and built in all the most fashionable neighborhoods of St. Louis. It is estimated that more than 60 of their works are listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Bee Tree Farm was an active place, growing fruits and vegetables, as well as raising sheep, turkeys, chickens, and horses. Mrs. Nims, a keen gardener, received national attention for the gardening and landscaping at the property. The Nims spent a great deal of time at Bee Tree Farm, often hosting many friends for parties and events. Eugene eventually died in 1954 and Latawana in 1966. After the death of Mrs. Nims, the estate was purchased by the county with the help of the Open Space Council under the leadership of Lindell Gordon and Walston Chubb. The park features a memorial garden and fountain dedicated to Mr. Gordon and an overlook dedicated to Mr. Chubb. The house was the home of the Golden Eagle River Museum for many years. Today, the county is developing plans to determine the future use of the Nims Mansion and to continue its restoration. Visitors are not permitted inside the home, but can walk the grounds and admire the architecture while visiting the park.